the situation is under control. A reassuring message from the Congolese government after it mistakenly announced on Saturday that there had been another volcanic eruption near the eastern city of Goma. The false alarm came only a week after Mount Niagongo roared back to life, forcing hundreds of thousands to flee the area. Now, some are braving the return home, defying warnings that underground lava could suddenly arise anywhere in the region. More than a thousand volcano refugees left a camp in Rwanda on Saturday and queued at the border of the Democratic Republic of Congo in the hope of a return to normal life once more. Slowly returning to the city of Goma, many people no longer have anywhere to call home after the Niragongo volcano roared back to life several days ago. Africa's most active volcano saw terrified people flee the Congolese city as rivers of lava killed dozens of people and left tens of thousands homeless. Fears that Mount Niragongo could become active again days after the initial eruption sparked a mass evacuation of more than half of Goma's neighborhoods. People have sought shelter wherever they could, including school classrooms. Many said they were struggling to find enough food and water as the UN called for international aid. However, not everyone fled the area. Frontline healthcare workers stayed behind to care for their patients. This new mother was in labor when the alarm was sounded once more. Mm -hmm. We took an oath to remain by our patient's side. We couldn't run away and follow those who fled. We had to first observe and see who among the population would be the last to leave and see if we were going to flee if the situation became more complicated. The natural beauty of Mount Niragongo betrays its volatile nature, leaving thousands to pick up the pieces and rebuild their lives.